Hi, I'm James Lamont, fellow at the Bedeen Center for Rural Economic Development at the University of Minnesota Crookston. Today, I'd like to, like to give you an update on food insecurity in America. Three years ago, at the height of the pandemic, we did a video concerning long lines, as well as inaccessibility to certain types of food and retail environments. Today, we're going to talk about, after three years, how the, how the uh, pandemic influenced food insecurity and kind of where we're heading as a society now. For roughly two decades, and in fact, if you go back further into Great Society and even Great Depression programs, the United States has made significant strides on improving food security for millions of Americans. In fact, we saw incremental progress every year for the last two decades, but unfortunately, the pandemic caused it to come, the progress to come at a screeching halt. Food insecurity in the United States is a significant issue, and frankly, it's typically underestimated by both the government and society. Many people don't know this, but roughly one in four Americans suffer from some type of food insecurity, and this is the highest rate we've observed in the last four years. The problem for food insecurity is that it's much more widespread than we previous thought, pre previously thought. Research from the University of Southern California indicates that the underestim uh, underestimation of food insecurity is prevalent in all regions of the United States. So even if there's stigma associated with certain parts of the country, and it, it doesn't matter, all parts of the country, this appears to be going underreported. Seniors as well as children are particularly vulnerable. In fact, steam seniors in a similar study from Feeding America um, indicated that, or rather the study indicated that roughly 5.5 million seniors in the United States faced hunger roughly two years ago. That number is only anticipated to increase. More families today are facing food insecurity than they were chronic food security roughly 20 years ago. There are impacts and solutions for food insecurity or at least to mitigate some of the challenges associated with it. Naturally, food insecurity has a major consequence or several major consequences for both individuals and communities. Adverse health outcomes due to having no access to nutritious food, decreased educational attainment because of attention spans and or the constant feeling of being hunger or the malnutrition impact on the brain, and subsequently economic instability, which is a major problem in many communities across the United States. The government, nonprofit organizations, as well as communities currently play a major role in addressing food security. We primarily see this through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as SNAP, food banks throughout the United States, whether it's um, you know, faith-based groups, whether it's cities, counties, federal, or just you know, groups in general that are that have the mandate to feed people. Distribution programming as well is something that you see across the country. You know, some of the solutions, at least to mitigate uh, food insecurity, include access to affordable and nutritious food. This is critical. Uh, we typically see a number of problems in urban areas. So by having community gardens, farmers markets, school meal programs, we see this in rural areas as well. These solutions are something that can help offset at least the access to nutrition components. School meal programs naturally during the pandemic became widely available and some states now are actually legislating that all kids will be fed. Uh, that continues to see growth uh, throughout many state legislatures as we're in the, the spring sort of legislative season for state capitals. And then promoting uh, sustainable and equitable food systems across the country can also help food insecurity by reducing food deserts, which are problematic across both rural and urban America. Food waste, uh, we still have one of the highest waste rates in, in, the, in the industrialized world. And then naturally disparities in terms of having access to healthy food. I'd like to thank you for joining me. Have a great day.